I'd first like to thank Doug for letting me speak here today. I have been uh, filming some interviews because uh, we're making a short doc video of the conference. So during a break, if, you, if you'd like uh, to be interviewed or to speak about the conference, please find me and we'll, we'll, we'll get it. So oops. our world's population is made of over 34% of people that are under the age of 20. For the first time in history, teens have a voice. As naive or passionate as we can be, we prosecute our dreams without limitations. We don't wait to be at a senior level position. Growing up on the island of Bali, a cultural paradise located on the archipelago of Indonesia, I quickly realized as a surfer and scuba diver that things were changing faster than ever. As tides would come in and river would flow out onto the coastal shorelines, the beaches were filled with all sorts of plastic, from bottle caps to plastic bags and plastic syringes. In 2009, I therefore decided to found an organization at the age of 14, entitled Make a Change Earth, as a call for action to make behavioral change in the way the local Balinese community dealt with their waste, particularly how the, the teenagers were treating the issue. Having no idea of the difficulties one would encounter to restructuralize the waste plans, I decided to combine my passion for music by working with some of the most established music bands in Indonesia. Music as an art form can emotionally reach out to people to get them on board. However, for a long time, I struggled to get people to ac actively be engaged with the conversation. Their engagement had to come from themselves as a form of social responsibility. Try to conceive a nation with more than 2.7 billion kids, or 8.5 times the population size of the United States, working together on healthier ways to use plastic. I often ask myself, what can a kid or teen do to make the world better? And in fact, the answer is not so, it's, it, it's pretty easy and simple if you think about it. As inquisitive as children can be, we ask questions from the earliest age. For instance, why mommy? Why do you do this? and why has been a part of the kid's dictionary and is an important notion that involves a reason in one's answer and is often key in starting a conversation. However, I found that in order to drive action, we have to extend this dictionary by just one more word, and that is how. How, how allows for a plan of action to be proposed to the table, moving reasonable into something that can be physically accomplished. I'm now gonna end um, a short video. Um, sorry, I, I, I was in there. A short video, yeah, that I just created with, with Doug. so many of our plastic bottles end up in oceans or landfills. Where do they go? ¿Por qué el público y los NGOs son siempre los que tienen que ser responsables por el reciclaje de los productos? ¿Por qué no los productores? How come you have a global deposit program for returning plastic bottles? If I knew I could get credit back for returning plastic bottles, I would return them. Wouldn't you? It's partly because of slow government regulations to allow for this to happen and also because companies haven't invested enough to make it worthwhile for them at scale. The problem is that it is not collected well from the consumers, so there's not enough volume to create value. Why aren't bottles being turned into bottles again? In the city of Hong Kong, with 8 million people living here, above 2 million bottles go to landfill every day. If that was collected, it would be worth over 8 million U.S. dollars. That means that there's a lot of value out there to make a deposit program work. Thank you, Gary. I would also uh, like to mention that Gary um, made that trailer at the very beginning. So he's a 
budding, very big uh, filmmaker, I believe. Um, last speaker before lunch, but not least, is Monique Mason, who has a very um, strong pinched nerve. So 